Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So, I got a question a couple of days ago from Reanimation and he or she says I can't find any tutorials on how to complete a level like getting to the end of the stage Yeah Like getting to the end of the <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like getting to the end of the stage, touch a trigger box or object to complete the level. Maybe also get a press enter to start again function. You could prob probably create this tutorial in 10 minutes and it would mean the world to me. So, okay, reanimation, I will do it. Just a very simple little complete level tutorial. So, uh, I just have opened a first person example map. Uh, and what we will do is start by creating two levels. So, with the first person example map, go to File, Save As, go into first person blueprints, maps, and create the first level, level one. Now, do the same again, Save As, and make it level two. Now on level 2, just delete this wall so we can separate the two levels, then save again. Go back out into the content folder, right click and just simply take a user interface, widget blueprint and we will call this level complete. Uh, w for widgets. So we go in here and just not just to not do anything wrong, go back and go into level one. It, you could do it later, but it's okay to just do it now. So just really simple. Start with an image. Just drag an image in here make it big like this and anchor it here to fill it all go to brush tint and just give it some form of color like this perhaps then just drag in some text And in text here, you will write level completed and enter. Now make it bigger like this. Anchor it in the middle at 50%. And yeah, I don't know, drag in one more text element and in the text content we can write uh, press enter to retry or wait for next level dot dot for example like this I'll change the color to yeah that because that looks horrible with that background color so press enter to retry wow I almost cannot see it <laughs> it just blurs that must mean it's good okay I'll change the color for that just because just because okay so compile and save uh, so now we will go into, let's see, go back to content and right click, create a blueprint class, actor, and we will call this um, complete level BP. Save. Now open this and add component 
take a box collision and just increase the size somewhat like this so this will be you know where you will overlap so with that go out into the level and place the blueprint class like so just right in front of the player so it doesn't yeah so we will see it anyway uh, go back in and with the collision box selected go into the event graph event actor on begin overlap or you know I prefer taking it here and using this on component begin overlap so drag this out so when you overlap we want to create widget then find your level complete widget then drag this out and take add to viewport connect the targets to return value now we must make sure that you can press enter to retry at the same time we don't want the player to be able to press enter and restart the level uh, before overlapping the collision box so we can go check the box again and then take on component end overlap so on the end overlap drag this out and take disable input like that and on the begin overlap after add to viewport we will take enable input the player controller will be get player controller hook both of these up to that one then we will create a delay for let's say 10 seconds because we have to wait for the next level to load so after 10 seconds let's say 5 because it's a tutorial and we don't want to wait forever so five after 5 seconds open level and we will open level 2 after 5 seconds so compile and save uh, and if we press enter we want to open level 1 again so right click and search for keyboard yeah just write keybo keybo and let's see if we can find enter enter yes so if you press enter then you will open level one like that compile save so I don't want to have these here that should be good enough let's see so save and uh, see if it works boom so we will wait for five seconds just to see and there we go we are in level two if we press enter we retry level one but if we're outside of the box and press enter we don't reload the level so we have to be in here to do it so yeah that's it that's as easy as it is but just to make it a little bit more uh, nice you know let's uh, create a little animated element that serves as like a um, countdown it's not a countdown but let's let's see what we can do so we take a text element we'll just call that wannabe 
countdown. Uh, text. So I'll drag this down here. And the text will simply be zero. Big zero. That's what I am. I'm just a big zero and nothing. Big, big, big zero. Wow. A humongous zero, it turns out. Like that. Anchor it at 50. And then down here, take plus animation and call it uh, countdown anim. Select it. Add wannabe countdown text. Then in here, if you right click, you can move it like this. So we had, it was five seconds. So what we will do, uh, if you hold control in and scroll, you can make it bigger or smaller. So we will place, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, track, transform, and what we will do is we will manipulate the scale. Drag out till five seconds. And at the end of five seconds, go to scale and click this little add key like that. And add one for rotation and translation and share also. Because we will simply change it in the middle. So at 2.5, Go to scale and make it uh, point 0.3 and the y axis equally point 0.3. So now, if we drag this like this, you will see yay! Woo! So we will play that animation, and when it gets big again, next level will load. So compile and save. Now go into the graph, delete the event tick, and out from the event construct, take play animation. Uh, in animation, you see here in the animations, we have the countdown anim, so drag this in, get it, connect it to in animation. And we don't have to do anything here, because it will only play once, and it it's gonna start at zero so compile and save now save go out let's see so when it grows back to its original size level 2 starts and of course if you click before that enter we get back to the first one so that's just a little extra thing so yeah hope that was helpful and have a great day